All right, in this exercise, um, this tutorial, we will be looking at a pseudo selector called target that will allow us to create a hamburger navigation when we are in a mobile uh, device. So you've seen this before, I'm sure. Um, so normally we have our nav bar with our horizontal kind of nav bar that we've worked on before. But um, when, we, when we make the screen smaller, we don't really have room sometimes for all of that content. So we can sort of fold it up into this hamburger. And this is just a, this is just really a font, you'll see. Um, and then when you click on that hamburger, it sort of opens up a little bit of navigation in a vertical way. And then it also provides an X to close the navigation. And so, so it's, it's a transition that you'll see between when a navigation bar when you go from, from a large screen to a small screen and then the, there is some interactivity provided by um, this target pseudo selector as well as the anchor tags. So uh, this kind of thing used to require JavaScript, but now we can do a lot by um, just using CSS. So let's see how this is going to work. Um, and we're also you're going to see transition used so that it doesn't like just happen so fast that the human eye doesn't detect it. It's sort of slowly or it happens a little slower. And then transform used will kind of be used to remove things from the screen, sort of slide them off screen or off behind something so that you don't see it. So these are new and I have provided some references if you want to go read more about it, these three important um, parts of this tutorial. So to, to begin with, we're given a style sheet and an index HTML. And if you open that up, you know, here's what you get. You see everything. You see your hamburger, you see the closing, you see this vertical navigation, which you know when we're in full screen we want it, want it to be horizontal. So we're going to use some media queries to, to deal with that, um, but we're going to uh, go a little bit farther too with the with getting the hamburger navigation to come on and off the screen. Uh, so to start with, um, we are going to style for the large screen with a media query um, to get a horizontal nav bar. And we are going to be, so we use inline block to do that. And we're going to hide the navigate the hamburger while we're in large screen. So um, the hamburger, we're going to use display none. So typically show hide, I, I use display none to hide it and display block to show it. Um, but maybe inline block if you needed it. But in this case, we're going to, we're going to hide. So when we're in full screen, we'll hide that hamburger and we'll make the nav bar uh, be horizontal. So we'll add this to our this existing style sheet. And you might want to take a look at what was already in there. So we'll say new work. So this we'll just add that in there. And with that, we now get the horizontal nav. So you know we're we're getting this standard um, but again, it changes, right, when you get down to below the 600 because that's how we set the media query. So the next thing that we want to do is um, use this target selector so that when we are in that smaller mode, we want, um, to, what we're going to do, if you look at the HTML here, we have, we're, oh, we're using a UTF, by the way, and this is described up here using UTF symbols and HTML entities. So um, these are how we can get some symbols. And this is, happens, the hamburger is 9776. So um, you'll see that just right there. That's the hamburger. And you'll see the href on this um, anchor tag is our nav. So it's affecting, when we click on this, what we're doing is affecting this, um, this nav section. Um, so what we want to do now is to set up a media query so that when we're on the small screen, so max width 600, we want to hide the nav bar 
So let's just grab all this and take a closer look at this. There's a lot going on here. So this is so this is all large screen, and then when we get small, what are we going to be doing? So our nav is going to transition ease out. It's going to transform. So it's going to, with a transition, it's going to use a 0.3 second ease out. So it's not going to just go away instantly. It'll sort of ease its way out. And it's going to basically go off to the right, minus 340, and you won't see it. So um, it's it's sort of a position fixed with top and bottom zero. So basically, we're, this is a little section that just hides that nav. Um, and then the nav target does a transform with a translate X. So again, moving it off, toggle cause. And the, the href on the nav on the, on the toggle, so that's that toggle right here, that href is going to um, cause the nav target selectors to activate. So the target selectors get activated when you click on that hamburger. Um, and then we have a close, um, we're going to show that close button. Remember we hit it up above here, we had that toggle. And now we will show it and that's just going to be that X. Um, and we're using relative positioning um, and then setting the top to minus 30. So that's, that will show the close X on the right. So that's just 30 down from the top. And then um, we'll show the hamburger toggle on the left. So um, this is all in the smaller screen. We'll, we'll set that um, hamburger toggle to uh, B, and this, if you look in here, we have the open, so the toggle, so the open class is what is directing that to a line left and basically show the toggle. So what's happening when we get this in here, let's just take a look at it, maybe it'll be easier to see. So we're, we're in here, let's use the inspector, we've and you, yes, you can see that when we go here, so when we're in responsive mode, we have our, our normal inline block nav bar. But when we go down to a phone size, we get our hamburger. When we click on the hamburger, this now slides out. So that sliding effect is the transition. And we now have our, we've basically taken, it's still the same content but we've let it live in its vertical dimension and we've exposed this X so that we can click on the X to slide it away. So I think these can sometimes be um, these new um, CSS. It's, it's kind of a, a lot to see, you know, sort of a trick. There's a lot of sort of tricks going on with moving things off of a, you know, from a fixed position, taking them into a negative area where you don't see them. Um, and then bringing things on again. So the thing about the, the target pseudo selector is that if you attach it to, to something, and here I'm using a hash on nav, and generally you don't see IDs in style sheets, but in this case there's only one nav, and I wanted it to be very clear. So with the hash on that nav, I'm, I'm basically saying that the target is going to change the look of the nav. So again, that target class is um, the target is 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 a CS is the CSS property, but it's being attached to this hash nav. So it's attached to the nav ID. So that means that if the target gets activated, it's going to affect what's in the nav. Uh, container. So um, take a look at this and this is just I think sometimes these are things it takes a while to work with to see how each one individually works but in a way I'm putting these together such that this works as a whole to, to give me 
this nav in, in my smaller screen to give me this nav that can slide on and off by clicking on the close button. It, it slides it off by clicking on the hamburger. It slides it on. And um, I think if you kind of work with it, maybe try tweaking it a little, see what, it, what the effects are, you'll get to understand it better. But in any case, we have achieved the goal. We've got this working responsibly. We have our nav bar. And I think we're ready to check this in. So let's take a look. Yes, and feel do read about target, transition, and transform. This is actually kind of uh, new to me. Normally, in the past, I might have used JavaScript to control all of this. But now that we have the target selector, uh, it's possible to do this without JavaScript. So get commit add hamburger. All right.